The third car from the 2017 Hot Wheels series is Kit from Knight Rider. This is number three out of 365. Here is the card art. It's got the Knight Rider logo up at the top and you see right there three out of 365. And this one is from the Hot Wheels Screen Time series. Uh, just like the Halo car, the UNSC Warthog that we saw. So this is Kit, uh, based on a 1982 Trans Am from the popular 1980s series. This is a robotic car. Uh, Kit stands for Knight Industries 2000. Um, it is a robotic car that was powered by, at the time, considered a supercomputer. Uh, of course it was all fictional but uh, you can see all of the detail here on the car a lot of detail on this one I like it and I just I like the I like the style of the of the Camaro as well the uh, early 80s Camaro I think was one of the one of the cooler sports cars from from that time period and uh, looking here at the front you can see the red scanner right there that's what uh, Kit used for vision. Kit could see what was going on around him. Uh, it was it was supposed to be an artificial, artificially intelligent car, so it could drive on its own, could make decisions. Uh, this one came out in 2012. That was the first time this one was seen in the main lines. It's also appeared a couple of other times in uh, different specialty series. Uh, but this one came out as a new model in 2012. And I believe it had black PR5 wheels. This time it's got black MC5 wheels, the Muscle Car 5. Uh, they're black and it's got chrome rims there. I don't know if we can see the detail on the interior here. There you go. Uh, lots of detail there. He's got all of his screens and the, the famous kit steering wheel there. And it is a four-seater. I believe uh, the seats have the ability to eject as well. There's clear T-tops on the top. And from the back, you've got the big open window there in the back where you can see all of the all of the space. I guess that's kind of the trunk area. And it's got the Knight Industries license plate there. So that's a nice little detail there. It's a pretty detailed license plate as well. There you go, the lines from the side. And one interesting thing I noticed on this one, uh, it was originally made in 2012. That was when it came out as a new model. However, the base on this one says 2016, so I don't know if they made some casting changes, uh, and that's why they updated that. So if you happen to know the story behind that, why this one says 2007, 2016, uh, when it has come out originally, maybe you know about some changes that took place. I'd love, to, uh, love for you to let us know that in the comments. But there you go. There's the kit car from Knight Rider. Thanks for watching.